Hello, everyone. Uh, well, I wanted to make a presentation uh, about where the Microsoft Loop components are saved in each scenario, because I read that uh, there is uh, some confusion about this matter, and I think <clears throat> it will be useful for the community. Um, the official diagram is this. Uh, you can find it in the URL that is uh, on the screen. Um, that is part of the compliance information of Microsoft Loop service. But uh, the official diagram uh, lacks some scenarios, and I will try to cover them all here in this video. Okay. First of all, loop, loop component in Teams meetings, uh, the loop file, as you know, uh, has an extension of dot loop, and it will be saved in the loop components creator OneDrive on a folder called meetings. The loop file name will be the meetings name, except if you create the loop before naming the meeting. So a couple of funny things if you do that before naming the meeting. Um, of course, the loop file name will be localized depending on the team's set language. The second scenario is loop components in Outlook um, will be also in OneDrive as the image uh, shows the file naming will follow a numbering and for example loop component one loop component two and so on um, this will be saved in a folder called attachments in onedrive the third scenario is the loop components in a team's chat this is a one-on-one -on -one chat or a group chat the loop file will be stored in onedrive um, obviously, when we say in OneDrive, it's the OneDrive of the creator, the initiator of this loop component. And this will be saved in, under Microsoft Teams chat files folder. The sixth scenario, uh, the, the next scenario, sorry, is the loop component in Teams channel meetings. This is not currently available only is mentioned in, in, in the roadmap. Uh, hopefully we will have this soon. According to roadmap, this will be in January. Um, I asked the product team about this, and this uh, loop file will be saved in the SharePoint folder associated with the Teams channel. The meeting was scheduled in. So we change what we have seen until this moment that uh, files were saved in loop um, in OneDrive, sorry, and will be saved in the SharePoint document library associated with the Teams channel. The next scenario is loop components in Teams channels. Uh, this will be also saved in the SharePoint document library associated with the channel and the name will be the one we give to the component. You can see the screenshots I am attaching to the uh, presentation at the same time. Um, what about the loop app? The loop app that we can access by going to loop.microsoft.com. Uh, the pages, the workspaces, and the components will be saved in SharePoint Embedded what was called formerly syntax repository services let's remember that syntax repository services is a special type of partition in the microsoft 365 storage layer that we call repository containers repository containers are not accessible through a regular user interface but are instead completely controlled and managed by the app that creates them as we said not directly accessible by end users and you can have a sample URL where this is stored uh, in SharePoint. However, you cannot browse 
this URL. The next scenario is look component in a whiteboard. Um, whiteboard stores the look component in OneDrive. Once again, we return to OneDrive storage and where this will be saved. And in the whiteboards folder in OneDrive, inside another folder called components, as the screenshot shows. The last at this moment scenario is a loop component in Word for the web or Word online. If we have this Word file, the docx in OneDrive, the loop component will be saved in a folder called Word loop files inside OneDrive, as the screenshot shows. However, if the Word file is in SharePoint, uh, is in a SharePoint document library, the loop file will be saved alongside the this the docx file. So something to take into account. As you can see, uh, every scenario has a different situation, and we need to take all of this into account to find our loop files. This is also important for governance. OK, I ho really hope this was useful for you. I really wanted to do this very quickly. Uh, my name is Andre Joselani. I'm a senior world, modern workplace consultant, and you can find me on those uh, URLs, Twitter, personal, my personal blog, and LinkedIn. I'm a, I am also a Microsoft MVP um, for the second time uh, in a row. Okay, bye.